Hey everyone, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here with Nana Visitor, a very talented actress who's been a lot in a lot of different shows. You've been in Dark Angel, which was one of my favorites, and of course you're very well known for Star Trek Deep Space Nine. How are you enjoying the con? Oh, very much. It's their 25th anniversary, and it's Deep Space Nine's 25th anniversary as well, so we have that in common. We are at Farpoint, so... Uh, yeah, they're 25th. You've been to a lot of cons. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. I would say yes. What do you think of the fandom, the, the, the people who are really into the Star Trek and the sci-fi? Oh, I respect them. I listen to them. It was really useful when the show was running to go to the conventions and to hear what they paid attention to, what was important to them. It was uh, it informed my performances, certainly. So it was a kind of uh, give and take between all of us that I don't know if you, you know, fandom was aware of it, but it certainly had an effect. Huh. But the thing is, they were right about, they were the experts on what this show <laughs> was about. It wasn't like I was listening to some out there. They wanted to know that when I pushed a button, I had a thought in my head, as I should as a good actor, for what I was doing when I pushed that button on, you know, or when I was looking to monitor what I was doing. Uh, and it made me very detail-oriented as the character. All the fandoms, like especially Star Trek, is very much about all the details. And if you're off a little bit... And it's important. It's important as actors. So it, it, was, uh, it was a good thing. And you've also seen a lot of people in costume. Probably also cosplaying, you know, Kara Norris... What do you think of these cosplayers? I'm amazed at what they do. I particularly, I particularly love steampunk. I love the way it looks. It's just a joyful expression of style to me. Uh, and when I'm at conventions, the things that I tweet out are usually the cosplayers. Very cool. Now, if you were to go to a con and dress up in costume, what would you be? You can't be one of your characters. That's... No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I did enough of that. Um, <laughs> I might, I might go for a Wonder Woman thing. Wonder Woman seems to be the popular choice nowadays. Yeah, yeah. you know, the the movie was just too good, and that's <laughs> and that's what it is. It's not even about the costume; it's what it represented. Yeah, well, you've been playing strong female characters for a long time, and it's great to see a strong female character get her own main feature. So she is. It's not just a strong character in a male-dominated show. It's a strong female character entity. entity in her own movie that's which right is awesome that's right so are you working on anything new right now i am and Please. and it would so fascinate you but i've been sworn to secrecy by someone you would find fascinating but i can't talk about it but um it's it's a stage piece and i'm actually really 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 excited about it we we totally understand ndas no worries <laughs> we're not gonna <laughs> We don't want to pray out all your secrets. A few of them. A few. A few. Of them. Yeah. We'll, mostly, we'll mostly I tell everything. I, I speak the truth. But this, this uh, I'm, I, I can't. Well, we have to honor your commitment to, you know, keeping someone's trust. Yes, so. exactly. So where can people find you on social media so that when you can talk about it? I am, I will, and I will on Twitter. I'm okay. on Facebook and Instagram as well. But Twitter is the one that I post to the most. When I figure out how to how to link them all, I'll do that. But Twitter is 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 easiest for me. Okay, and we'll put the address right here so people can find you. Excellent. And I'm going to follow you too. Well, Good. not not in a creepy way. No, I'm I'm happy with that. <laughs> Since you've been to a lot of cons, have you had any interesting experiences? Anything that was heartwarming? Anything that was I, just amazing? Or I've had all kinds of experiences at conventions. So conventions for me, they're, they're on two levels. I, I get to meet new people, young people who are getting into the show through Netflix, uh, which is amazing. It's this constant influx, and it's a reminder of how influential Star Trek is and how far-reaching. I get to go to different parts of the globe. I mean, everywhere. I meet new people, and then I see people that I've known for 25 years, other actors, and it's, it's just, it's like getting into a, your favorite chair, and uh, it's so comfortable and wonderful and fun. So uh, they're great for me. I'm glad to hear it. 
So we have three quick questions. They're very invasive, not really, but uh, they might throw you a little bit. All right, I'm ready. Hit it, me. If your life had a theme song, what would it be? I think it's Janelle Monae's song, uh, I'm Gonna Do My Thing. Independent, I like that. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it's actually a really good song. That would be it. Very cool. Okay, second very invasive question. You're on a picnic. What is your go-to picnic food? Oh, bread, cheese, meats, uh, olives, uh, uh, delicious chocolate, wine. Okay. And wine. Definitely. The, the typical, from, from Shakespearean times, probably before Shakespearean times on, that's the food I love. Oh, awesome. Well, I will... Simple. So when are we going to go on a picnic so do I can you, have this? Do you have the meat and cheese ready? Come on. I will go I'll get I'll pick some. up the bread. All right, I'll pick up the meat and cheese. We'll be, we'll be all set. And the, you bring the wine. <laughs> all right. We're set. Uh, you'll bring the wine. She <laughs> won't bring the wine. <laughs> okay. And finally, if you could travel anywhere in time to visit, you don't have to stay there and get, you know, diseases, but if you could visit any period in time, what period of time would you like to visit? I know exactly. I would like to go back to the uh, 30s and go visit my grandmother who was on tour in uh, on the vaudeville circuit uh, with her 11 children and they danced as the Charisse troupe and I would like to be backstage and see what that was all about. Wow. She was evidently quite a woman. It sounds like it, to be traveling with 11 children, to have 11 children. To have 11 children, and then teach them all to dance and dance yourself. Um, and, and be headliners on, on vaudeville circuits all over the world. They went to Africa. They went everywhere. So, yeah. That's pretty incredible. I'd like to see what that was all about firsthand. If I ever get a time machine, I will pick you up. We'll would go you back. please? I would abs absolutely. I'd like to see that myself. I'll bring the picnic. You will have the picnic in the 30s in backstage. Yep. Watching your grandmother and the 11 children. Yep. Sounds good. All right. So anything you want to say to your fans before we wrap up? I think you know how I feel about you. I'm uh, here and engaged and interested in who you are. I know that, I know this, this is a truth about conventions for me, that you, I've been a part of your life um, in, in some really intimate ways, you watched with your parents who were gone, or, or in some ways it was a very important event. And now I come to conventions and I get to see you and I get to hear your experience of what I did. And uh, that's the exchange and that's the importance of it to me. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nana. You're so it's welcome. Been great. And everyone, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, have fun and cosplay on. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share, and we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.